Hey guys, Iron Phoenix here, and welcome to a public service announcement in regards to Frostpunk. Now, some people have been reporting that Frostpunk does not actually boot when you start the game through Steam. And the main cause for this is a missing update file thing. And it's called .NET's Framework 4.7.1. You need the latest version, and that will fix the problem. Uh, of not ha not having D3D compiler, I believe it is. Now, the way that you find out exactly what, what is erroring out, you can go into your Steam library, right-click on the game, and go to local files, browse local files, and that will take you into the Steam app's uh, location for it. You can then double-click on the EXE for the game and it will then throw up the error message that you actually want. Now if it, the error message says something along the lines of D3D compiler, that means that you're missing .NET Framework. And then we come to the problem. There is a good reason why there is no Frostpunk uh, footage playing in the background of this uh, video, because I would quite like to play Frostpunk, but I can't. The reason for this is that a little while ago, Windows update broke badly. It will not install any updates anymore. And the only fix for it that I can see is to reinstall Windows, which I can't be bothered to do, uh, because that means an awful lot of more work than actually just reinstalling Windows. It's actually reinstalling a whole bunch of stuff that I really can't be bothered to do at the moment. So if, if it's just that Frostpunk isn't working, then I'll just miss out on it for now. But the important thing to come come uh, out of this is that in order to download and install uh, in order to install um, .NET Framework 4.7.1 this does actually require a series of recent Windows updates so if you're on Windows 7 you do actually need to have a series of Windows updates before you can actually install .NET Framework and if your Windows update broke at around the time that Windows 10 did all those sort of preparedness patches, which there were quite a few reports of that happening, then you may not actually be able to play the game until you've fixed your Windows update, which from what I can work out does actually require a complete reinstall of the operating system because, um, I mean, it might just be in my case on the basis that it's possible that my operating system hasn't actually been reinstalled for a few computers now, thinking about it. So the registry keys may not actually be there properly. That said though, there are going to be circumstances where you may not actually be able to play the game until you have fixed a Windows update, which could be a little bit more complicated than just running a fixed tool on it. I've tried repair tools on my Windows update and it's not worked unfortunately, so I can't play Frostpunk, so that's it's a real shame, it's a real shame that uh, the developers in question uh, have got hooks into .NET Framework, but it is what it is, all in all. And at some point I will fix my Windows 7 when I can be bothered to, and then I'll be able to play Frostpunk again. But for the moment I have refunded it, simply on the basis that the game doesn't run, and that's a real shame. So, in summary really, if your game isn't running, Run the EXE from the Steam directory, obviously with Steam open, uh, to get the error message. And if it's that D3D compiler error message, then you just need to download and install .NET Framework. And it's the latest version on the Microsoft page. So anyway, with that I will say thank you very much for watching this short video. And I will see you next time.